Welcome back guys to another trapping video. As you can see we got a skunk here and I believe he's caught in a one and a half trap. Uh I smell this guy from about a quarter mile away. I mean he really smells. Yeah, that's a one and a half trap. He's caught by the back foot. And right now he's hiding hiding his face in the leaves. He's not he's not putting his tail up, getting ready to spray. Although he is kind of looking at me. He ran in a circle, you can see. Uh, during the night, he made a big ring. Well, those are kind of cool. That's a pretty skunk. Oh, he's putting his tail up. You know what that means. Alright guys, second trap here, and we've got a undomesticated cat. One and three-fourths trap. My brother over here caught him. So he's going to uh, take a video while I try to let him go. Cats are always mad when you try to let them go because it kind of hurts. There he goes. Alright, guys, this is the next tramp. We've got a nice coon in it. Uh, it's a one three fourths tramp. I just set it up on the side of this little hill right here. And then there's a field. I was hoping a fox would come by, or a coyote, but a, a coon's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and dispatch this coon, get him, get him out of the trap, and set it up. We're going to go check some more traps. Alrighty, guys, we're going to go ahead and dispatch this raccoon here. And my favorite place to shoot coons, foxes, and coyotes is right below the skull in, this, in, the, in the neck or the spinal cord. Hits the spinal cord and it causes instant paralysis. Knocks them out instantly. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this coon to look over here. Ah, oh, I didn't even hit him. Okay guys, you can see this coon is deader than a doornail, and kind of neat, he scraped away all the paint on the trap, uh, except for the bottom. I can still use this trap, um, like if it rusts, that's fine, you just can't let it rust too much. Pretty nice coon. Alright, we're going to go check some more traps. Okay, guys, you've got to be kidding me now. We've got a bobcat in a trap. This is insane. I've never got a bobcat on a trail camera. I didn't even know we had bobcats around here. Still, we have a bobcat in a one and a half trap. You're kidding me, guys. You're kidding. I didn't even have a bait hole set up for this bobcat, guys. Oh, man, this is just a trail set. Set it up on a trail. Oh man, that is a nice bobcat, guys. He is huge. Guys, I cannot believe this right now. Oh yeah. My first bobcat, guys. This guy is huge. Beautiful guy. Guys, this is the best trapping season I've had. I mean, I can't believe I caught this bobcat. It's just a one and a half trap set up on a trail. Caught a possum in it the other day. And I got a bobcat. 
I had an old trapper tell me, he said, bobcats are sneaky. They'll they'll go past your traps. They won't get caught. They'll they'll stay on slim trails. Guys, I can't believe this. This is this is awesome, guys. Okay, guys. We're trying to get his head. We're trying to get him to look over this way so we can shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> Got him. Oh yeah, oh guys, you don't know how long I've been waiting to catch a bobcat, guys. We got a female, oh man, she's huge. Okay guys, she's dead, she went out like a light. And, I mean, this is like a mini cougar, is that blood? Okay, I mean... This thing is huge. Like, my brother and I came down this field, walking down it, checking traps. I'm not paying any attention to this trap. I mean, it's old trap. I just set up on a trail. Maybe a possum would step in it. Okay, guys? And we see this bobcat jumping up in the air, climbing up this tree. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Well, let's take him out of the trap. Okay, guys. Take this mini cougar out of here. Oh, he was caught barely in there. Man, I can't even get this trap off. Look at these paws, guys. I mean, those are like mini, mini daggers in there, pretty much. Let's let's put them up in the air. This guy is huge. Nice bobtail. And compared to my Ruger 22, my Ruger 22 is super mini to him. Nice. He's spotted. Hope he's not alive. Hope he's not playing dead on me. Shot him right where I wanted to. Can't even see the hole where I shot him. Can't see the ex exit wound. That's good. We didn't damage the pelt. That's great, guys. Well, guys, this brings this video to a close. We will have another video of me skinning this bobcat and showing you guys how I set the trap up and what I did. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it to your friends and family, and I'll see you guys later.